Without special ceremony and without a tear, the grog is poured out on HMS Albion, a time-honoured ritual for which time has run out. From tomorrow, the lower deck will be able to buy three small cans of beer a day instead, and petty officers will be able to buy one-eighth of a pint of spirits, but not rum. The reason that the run has finally run dry is, to quote a former sea lord, that it is not appropriate to the demands of a modern instant response navy. The men on HMS Albion don't agree. We're supposed to be operating all this very technical equipment, yet that's, this is officers and chiefs and petty officers that operate this. We can still carry out our job, I'm sure they can. There's no need to stop the tot at all. In lieu, we've been given a fund for sports equipment, etc. Well, the Navy saving £85,000 a year, and they're going to be stumping out a damn sight more than that. Senior, senior rights and officers still allowed to drink at lunchtime. And surely an officer is a more technical person than, than we are. All they're doing by stopping the top is stopping the, the only social occasion for junior rates. The only meeting time that junior rates ever get together is by when they have their top. They should have gone into the offices where we work and see how we did work after having our run. Well, put it this and way, we work better. When they stopped the top, the lower deck wasn't consulted at all. This was just sprung on us and that was it. We got told your run finishes on the 31st. End of story. For the last time, the gash, the leftovers, go over the side. And so after 239 years, the Daily Tot passes into history. But I do feel that the last word today should go to an anonymous poet here on board HMS Albion. And he writes, Did Jack flinch at Trafalgar as he faced the shot and shell? With a tot inside his belly, our Jack would go through hell. Their lordships drink their sherry and cry, more efficiency. But what works on paper doesn't always work at sea. The legend of the rum tub is still there to be seen, but the motto looks quite silly on the side of a coffee machine. Peter Sissons, News at 10, Portsmouth.